Check out G2A.com for cheap CD keys and everything else that you can find. They sell CSGO skins and everything. I mean, look at this. GTA 5 for $38. And you can buy 14-day trial codes for $1.93. But check the link in the description below to find out more. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Fragit. And we're going to play Outlast Why I Tell a Pretty Fucked Up Story. This happened my sophomore year, so two years ago. Just letting you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter or anything, you guys have, like, access to my phone 24-7 because you're just tweeting at me or some BS, but <laughs> this happened my sophomore year. I was a completely different person than who I am now, like, a lot. And, by the way, my sister is actually here, and she can vouch for that. I'm, I was a different person. Like, really long hair, skinny mm -hmm. jeans, and a whole bunch of, like, screamo bands. He looks very blue. But... I had a second hour math teacher I like hated because like he didn't like me because I was different. Oh, there we go. So I left my binder on my desk and I had this class with um, A for Optism, which was a You guys know him by that, so. But I left my binder on my desk on accident because it was like a rush day all together. I was like, oh shit, I forgot it. And I didn't realize I like I got home. So basically I think and I went in the next morning with my uh, my current girlfriend at the time. She went in with me, and I went to the teacher, I was like, hey, I left my binder here. He's like, yeah, I know. I mean, I have to turn it into the, uh, the vice principal. I'm like, why? He's like, because it says go to hell for heaven's sake. I'm like, really? You're gonna, you're gonna take my binder and give it to the vice principal because, just because it says that? He's like, well, it's racist. I'm like, how is saying go to hell for heaven's sake racist? Like, But, I thought it was... Like, I left after, because this was before school even started. So I was like, you know what, fine. If he wants to be like this, I'll let him be like this. Because, one, I was like, I'm not even going to deal with this right now. And then, two, I needed to go to, like, my band class. That class is my, was my third hour that year. So I had first hour band, second hour jazz band, and then third hour of, I think it was geometry. So I go to that class, I go see, I sit by Calvin, and we just talk, and then he starts, um, the, the teacher starts handing out papers, and I was like, I really don't like this teacher right now, because he won't give me my binder back, and I have, like, I legit have all my work in it. Um, so he was handing out worksheets and like he gave me mine and I let it just sit on my desk for a couple minutes and then I was like well I'm not doing any work till he gives me my binder back so me and Tyler are sitting there talking he's like why aren't you doing your work I was like because you took my binder and he said okay and then he went and sat back down at his stupid little desk and then I go up and I slammed my paper stop on the desk because I was this. I'm like, well, all my work is in that binder, and you wouldn't, you won't give it to me. So I was like, well, I can't do my work then, so I'm not gonna do my work at all. So he, this like, it, it, it triggered him. Like, he didn't like to be talked back to or any of that. And I was, he got really pissed because. Um, at the time, I just, like, I didn't give a fuck. And he's all, why do you look the way you look? Why do you dress the way you dress? Why do you listen to the music that you listen to? And, like, this guy had the balls to ask me. Like, I struggled with self-harm a lot during my sophomore year. And he, he's like, why do you have scars on your arm? I was like, alright, that crossed the line. I'll, and I went... And 
Like get out of my class right now. I was like, okay, fine. My, but like he told me to get out. Like I, he wouldn't let me pick up my bag or anything. And I had my iPad and my um, like all my schoolwork and then like, my food because I'm diabetic. So I kept food in there and everything. He's all, no, you can't even pick that up. So he came up to Calvin and he's all, what's wrong with him? We go talk to him, he's like, well, you kind of just, like, severely pissed him off. And he's like, go talk to him, and, um, Calvin came out, and he's all, dude, that was him. Because that teacher is, one, a huge perv, because he looks at all the little, the sophomores at the time. Like, he's... pissed off about that and then I think other stuff I don't know what it was but Calvin goes back in the room and this teacher is like doing something else so he like, sneaks my bag and my iPad and everything to me outside and I'm on the phone outside calling my mom to tell her what happened and everything like my mom didn't like this teacher just the way he treated No, oh, that's a different teacher. It's the same year, but a different teacher was there. But this, he, um, he turned in my my notebook because of all that crap. And so later that day, actually, um, we have quadrants for my classes. So when the sun came out, um, we have a PAD, so it's a quadrant, and then you go outside, basically. So. I told, he came out and tried to talk to me. And he was like, you're not going anywhere. I was like, you know what, I'm going to Mr. Costa, which was our, um, our teacher, or our vice president of the time. I was like, I'm not dealing, I'm not going to stand for this, of what you're doing to me. Because you just asked me a personal question about my self-harm, which I struggle with. And my crippling depression or something. Or just depression. So... I was like, fuck off, and I got really pissed, and I just walked to the office. Oh, but he got, he got severely covered, because what I did is I went to the principal, and I got a referral place to place to fucking uh, disobedience or something, because I left. I left. So basically what I did was the principal told him what happened. I said, okay. But this teacher still turned in my notebook. So later that day, I get called into the office. I was like, oh, I already know what this is for. This teacher turned it in. He's like, well, you can't have these things on your mind because they're really, really messed up. He's like, it's a song. So, and he got really pissed off. He didn't yell at So, I got a referral, got my binder taken away for the rest of the year. He's like, well, they could push us through and look good. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, most people that I know that are like this are listening to this music. So, there is nothing you can do to really help out. Because, um, this, this principal went on saying that I was the one in the bathroom basically um, um, doing the scene and I was like, I don't do art
I'll do a draw my life and you'll see my horrible drawings. Yeah. And basically this guy pissed me off for the rest of the day. I got picked up because I basically didn't need to get sued anymore. So, uh, you want to write down song lyrics, just make sure they don't have the word hell in it, basically, because apparently that triggers some teachers for being racist. And I'll probably do a dual column of this story again, but with Calvin, so you'll hear his side of the story with it, because he makes it <coughs> so much money. And probably expect a like a rant coming up of like the musically kids because I can't like stand them at all. But this has been Fragit. And as always guys, have a nice day. Keep your tongue off windows.